everyone, in this video, we're gonna talk about positive reinforcement. What is positive reinforcement and why is it important to use it when you're training your dog? Rico, come. Yes, good boy. Sit. Good job. Yes. Nice. A question that we get a lot is, if my dog has already been trained, why do I still have to reward them for things? We're gonna answer that question in this video, but first, we need to define some terms. The first term I wanna define is reinforcement. In layman's terms, reinforcement means we're increasing our dog's desire to repeat a behavior again. This is really important because it means the more you reinforce a behavior, the more likely your dog will do that behavior again. Now, positive reinforcement is just one of the types that we use. You'll also need to use negative reinforcement at times, which we'll cover in the next video. Positive reinforcement is when you give your dog something that they like, and this increases the likelihood that they're gonna repeat that behavior again. Treats, praise, affection like petting or toys, are some examples of rewards that we use. So it's important that we always maintain some amount of reinforcement schedule. It doesn't mean you have to reward a behavior every single time, which we'll talk about in a second. Think of it in human terms. Let's say you have a job, you get paid for coming into work, but one day your boss stops paying you. Eventually, you're probably gonna stop coming into work. This is the same as our dogs think. So if we're using food to reward them for coming when called, this is kind of like we're paying them. And again, doesn't mean we have to pay them every time, but if we stop paying them altogether, they're just less likely to come back to us. So let's talk more about why you don't necessarily have to reward your dog every single time. So first off, positive reinforcement is just one of the types of negative of reinforcement we also use negative reinforcement at times. So if you're using a balance of both, then it's not as important that you're giving your dog a treat every time they do something because they also know that they have to do it because there's also potentially a consequence for not doing it. Another reason that your rewards should be more random is because we wanna be like a slot machine for our dog. So think about slot machines. A lot of people are highly addicted to them, but they're not winning every single time they play. But they get addicted to it because of the hope that they might win on the next attempt. Now, there are exceptions. So there are behaviors, and there are times when we, when we do want to reward our dog every time. For example, when we're teaching a behavior, when our dog's first learning something, generally we have uh, a re reinforcement schedule where they're getting paid every time they do it, but eventually we wanna wean them off that and move to a random schedule. That's a great pose. It's really good. Good job, man. Yeah, I know. And remember, you don't always have to use food as your reward. Reinforcement just means you're giving your dog something that they like. So. Like we said, we sometimes use praise, sometimes we use petting, sometimes we use toys. Tango, sit. Good boy, yes! So during the lessons, we'll talk about what your dog likes and what they find most rewarding. So the last thing we wanna talk about in the video is the difference between rewarding and bribing. A common complaint we hear a lot is, my dog only listens to me when I have treats. If you've ever felt this way before, there's a chance that you've been bribing your dog instead of rewarding them. To explain the difference between bribing and rewarding, we're gonna show you guys a few different scenes. And I want you guys to guess in which scenes we're bribing and in which scenes we're rewarding. Rico, sit. Yes! Rico, sit.
Rico, sit. Yes, good boy. Rico, Rico, come. Rico, come. Yes, good. Tango. Go kennel. Tango. Go kennel. Yes, good boy. Now, bribing isn't always wrong to do. In fact, we sometimes use bribes as a way of teaching or motivating our dog to do something. But our goal is usually to wean our dog off the bribe so that they learn to do it without seeing the treat first. Tango, sit. Yes! Good. Otherwise, you might be creating a bribe-dependent dog that only listens if they see a treat in your hand. But again, bribing is not always bad. There's a technique that we use called luring where our dog is following a treat in our hand and we use luring to teach and shape a lot of behaviors. So you'll be using luring sometimes with your dog, especially if you have a puppy. Down. Good boy. And that's it for positive reinforcement. Make sure to watch our next video on negative reinforcement, which is another important tool so that you can establish reliable control with your dog.